Yeah, no doubt for so many people, including many of the choir members who are Michigan, they're all Michigan State students. A lot of this still feels like it happened yesterday. It's very emotional. Pulling together certainly helps. And when they draw upon their faith, that really helps too. On the state capitol steps and under the mighty dome, a gospel message sent into the heavens in the name of healing. The Michigan State University Gospel Choir hosting a worship night for anyone and everyone still reeling from the deadly shooting on campus February 13th. To have what happened here a couple of weeks ago to now have an atmosphere of worship to God means a whole lot because we're setting another tone and atmosphere. Well, every action has an opposite and equal reaction and so when all of the t terrible and tragic things happen, we have to again show that our faith is strong even in the midst of turmoil and calamity. For some here, the intersection of the tragedy and their faith is all too real. Some of the choir members were supposed to be at Berkey Hall. The night shots rang out. We have been so tremendously blessed, y'all. The young lady who God gave this event to, Anna, the one that keeps speaking, Anna Johnson was supposed to be there for a study group. And because her car was broke down, she was waiting on someone to get her. <laughs> and she never made it. It's truly a blessing that God protected her because she was supposed to have been there. Michigan State is moving forward by adding locks to more than 1,300 classrooms and will bring in more security cameras on campus following the shooting that took the lives of Arielle Anderson, Alexandria Werner, and Brian Frazier. But while the school moves on with policy changes, many are staying grounded in the spiritual support they connected with Thursday night. Definitely, I feel healing is here. We just wanted to lend support to these students, the faculty, definitely the parents that lost loved ones. Some state lawmakers were even moved by the worship after wrapping up their business week. We always are talking about bipartisanship and coming together, and I really believe that God can bring us together. And so I wanted to um, almost be healed because there's so much going on in this town right now with Michigan State um, in the House and in the Senate and on the floor and the divisiveness. One thing that I do know that these young people at Michigan State need hope. And this is just one drop of hope that is being spread out. And meantime, we do know that the university has said that all three victims who died in that shooting will receive honorary degrees. That process is still being worked out. Reporting live at the state capitol, Dave Kinchin, Fox 2 News. You know, Dave, though, people I mean, we've heard it time and time again, thoughts and prayers are not enough. But in cases like this, it is something because it really does bring the people together, students, staff, the community, and it keeps people, it keeps what happened really top of mind. And if there are going to, is there, if there is going to be change, this is going to be part of it. Yeah, no doubt. They have to come together first. They have to be able to heal. The emotional part of it is such a big thing. And uh, the university even says they continue to offer around the clock care, uh, counseling, mental health support, because all of that is no doubt part of this, too.